Hi everyone, welcome to a new video here on my channel. Today I will be talking about one of the many ways I develop my art style, which is learning from other artists. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about what art style is. For context, I will be referring to art style in relation to an artist's distinct style or way of drawing, painting, sculpting, etc., whatever it is. So an artist's style can be determined by different factors. So it can either be one factor or multiple different factors combined together that basically make up their art style. It can be the way that they use art elements and principles either individually or in combination. For example, it could be having a set color palette that they use consistently in different and multiple artworks. It could also be using a composition technique in most of their artworks, not all, but most. It could also be how they draw something in specific. It all pretty much depends on what the artist decides to do for their artwork. And once they do it consistently, it becomes a distinct style because that is what people recognize. So every artwork does have a style, but an artist's style is seen in multiple artworks that they have created over a duration of time. And within the art community, having an art style is pretty important for an artist since that is what can set you apart from other artists. That's also how people can easily distinguish your art. So think of your favorite artist and look at a bunch of their artworks, specifically ones made within the same time frame and you might notice or you'll definitely notice a consistency so that's kind of my definition of an artist's art style and that's what we're pretty much talking about in this video and as you can see on screen there is one method um, that i am using that you can also use to develop your very own art style so I also want you to note the word develop because for me, I personally think that your own art style develops and evolves based on the skills, the knowledge um, that you learn and also the interests that you have. So an art style does not just pop up one day where, for example, yesterday you didn't have an art style and today you suddenly found one. I don't think that's what necessarily happens. I believe that an art style develops over time because what I think is key is consistency. The fact that it's repeated in multiple artworks makes it a distinguishable um, style or almost like a brand for the artist, but not really. We can talk about that some other time. An artist's art style can also change over time. That's pretty much part of your artist's journey, your progression and your growth. So if you're just learning how to draw, I definitely would not recommend on focusing too much on finding an art style. Rather, you should definitely focus more on improving your skills, um, increasing your knowledge and also honing your interests because those are things that I think will eventually um, help you as an artist and also your art style will develop as you also develop those three things. However, there are drawing exercises that can help you develop your art style. Um, although the methods that I personally like not only allows you to develop an art style, but it also helps you learn um, and it also helps you note things that you like and things that you don't like. So that's kind of hitting a few birds with one stone. So you're improving your skills and you're also honing your interests. And at the same time, you're developing your art style. So this video shows only one method of many. I highly recommend that you go out and you do your research. Um, you search for more places where you can learn the other exercises that will help you greatly. So the method that I'm using is basically learning from masters. But this also leads me to the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare.
I do want to thank Skillshare for making yet another video possible. And Skillshare is a really great online resource. They are a great online learning community, which offers a wide range of video tutorials and classes, which are all taught by professionals and creatives. So if you are looking for more exercises on how to develop your own art style, Skillshare has just the class for you. And it is called Find Your Style, Five Exercises to Unlock Your Creative Identity by Andy J. Pizza. However, the best part about Skillshare is that they also have other classes on other topics, such as photography, design, business, lifestyle, productivity, so much more. So if you are interested in that class, but you are also interested in other classes on Skillshare, I do highly recommend that you guys check them out. I have a special link in the description box where the first 1000 people to sign up using that link will get a free trial of Skillshare premium. So that gives you unlimited access to all of their video content and then after the free trial it is valued at less than 10 us dollars a month if you choose to pay annually so i highly recommend that you guys take advantage of this offer check out the links in the description box for other resources on how to develop your art style and the skillshare class is linked down there as well for the method that I am using in this video, the basic idea of it is that you take an artist that you like or you admire, and it could be because of their art style. It could be the way that they use specific materials such as watercolors or oil paint. Maybe you like how they draw certain things, like how they draw faces. Um, you can choose any artist you like. It could be a well-known painter or a cartoon animator. It's up to you. And once you've chosen an artist, basically you copy one of their artworks. You can also copy more than one of their artworks. Um, it depends on what your goal is. So I do recommend that you have a goal for this exercise. So you can either copy the artwork to the exact likeness from like top to bottom or whatever, or you can focus on smaller details. It depends on what you want to learn and what you want to achieve for yourself. The most important thing whilst doing this exercise is to observe. Take note of what you are doing, what techniques you used, if you made a mistake and how you fixed that mistake. Take notes because that is a really great way to learn so that the next time you're creating your very own original artwork, you can apply those techniques that your favorite artist used into your own work as well. And another important thing to note um, when it comes to doing this exercise, which is hopefully common sense, is that you do not claim the copy of the artwork or the artworks as your very own. So please acknowledge that it is a copy of the artist's work or works, um, that it is not an original, that this is not your own original, and also provide credit if possible. So um, with the the internet nowadays, links to their social media account or websites, basically where you found them is really appreciated. So that's what I'm doing for this video. I have chosen more than one artist. All of these artists I follow on Instagram and they also have very distinct art styles, but they mainly draw portraits and very fashionable girls, which is right up my alley. So that's why I've used them as the artists that I will be learning from today. So each artist is listed on screen as they appear when I am drawing them and they are also listed in the description box in the same order that I'm drawing them in this video. So if you guys are interested and I do highly recommend if you don't know these artists just yet, definitely give them a follow on Instagram. They are amazing and your feed will look very aesthetic. So my goal for this exercise is to focus on how to draw eyes. I also chose these artists specifically because I love how they draw eyes and it's all very different, all very distinct. Um, each artist has their own consistent way of drawing eyes, which I really like, especially eyelashes. So 
that was also one of my goals because drawing eyelashes is still something that I struggle with. It's a hit or miss sometimes when I do it. So I'm taking this time to learn how these amazing artists draw them so that the next time I draw uh, my very own portraits and I want to draw eyelashes, I can use the same techniques that I've learned from this exercise. And because my goal is only to learn how to draw eyes, even though my reference artworks are portraits, I'm only copying the eyes. More specifically, I'm only copying one eye. And because my goal is also to learn how to draw and not how to color, I'm coloring all of them in my style. I'm not copying the way that they color. I'm also adding the line art in my style and pretty much all I've done for this exercise is I've copied the shape, the lines, and the shading. After that, I've taken liberties with the drawings. So that's something that you can do as well. And I think I've mentioned how you can use this exercise in its very basic form, but I'm also showing you how I've taken that and then I've applied it to my own personal needs. So hopefully you can also get a similar idea and do the same for your very own art journey. So think about what you want to improve on if you have a favorite artist and can you identify their distinct art style and if you want to learn more exercises on how to develop your own art style whilst also learning and improving your skills because if so let me know in the comments down below and i can make more videos like this um, the next step from here is to take your observations from this exercise take any mental or handwritten notes and pretty much apply that into your very own original artwork i will actually be making a video on that as my follow-up so please stay tuned However, I think this is a good place to start. You can do this um, once or as many times as possible, not forgetting to credit or to acknowledge that it is a copy and not your original artwork. With that said, I will end today's video. I hope that you found this information useful. If you try this method, please tag me. I would love to see it. You can tag me on Facebook, Instagram, or here on YouTube. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but if you figure it out, let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video to fellow artists as well. And I wish you the best of luck with your art journey. And I will see you in my next one.